Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about uh, JavaScript as well as talking about um, what why is it important in our um, new series for data visualization. So the first thing I'm going to want you guys to do is go on and go get up uh, the Chrome web browser and I would go on and uh, hit the inspect element. Okay. Um, now this is going to allow us to uh, code uh, quite decently um, for our basic introduction to the course. Also, we're going to go to about colon blank to give ourselves just a blank HTML web page. Okay, um, but um, again, majority of the time we're going to go to the console window and we're going to be using it uh, for our JavaScript programming for the first couple lectures here just to kind of get our feet wet with JavaScript and later on we'll start actually adding in uh, things such as uh, HTML and adding in scripts. So first off, why are we wanting to uh, learn JavaScript, okay? JavaScript is probably the most prolific language out there uh, right now in terms of um, processing for the web, okay? So one of the reasons for this is that it's on every single um, browser that we have, okay? Uh, and it is used, and again, that's why we have this interpreter, okay? Uh, in this console window here, we can actually just directly code into JavaScript. Now, it's, again, it works on everything, okay? It works on Mac, Windows, Linux, it, it, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, you can always, um, again, you can right click, hit inspect, and it will take you to this uh, console window, and you can hit uh, the console. And again, you can see the elements of your HTML as well as source files. If there's any type of other um, files associated with the web page, it would be here. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick with the console uh, window. And let's go on and um, go on and start by doing a little bit of coding. So basically, you can do a little bit of math, okay? So you can do something like 4 plus 4. And again, it's going to give you a preview of what the actual output is here. Uh, we usually end lines with a semicolon. We uh, hit enter. Again, this is going to be more of an interactive environment here, and you get eight. Okay. Now you can also do again. You can do this as five uh, plus two here, and that's going to give us seven. So again, we can also use all kinds of strings. Um, and again, this is just this today. We're just going to be doing a basic, um, quick introduction to um, JavaScript, and we'll get more in depth as we go on. So things that we usually would look at, like the structure of a JavaScript program, okay? Something maybe a little bit silly, um, but we can also write in um, and create functions. So something like var, uh, and let's call it draw this. Um, <clears throat> and here we'll create a, f uh, a function, and let's say um, uh, it'll take some drawing and times okay so however many times you want um, and let's actually change that to something like how many times um, and I'm going to go on oops and we'll make this as something like a four um, what four var i is equal to zero uh, i is less than how many times i plus plus um, something whoops and we'll do something like um, what uh, uh, console.log here um, i plus and then we'll have our uh, drawing okay and then we'll close our brackets in here and so now we actually have created up some sort of very simple function. And what this one will do is if I do something like um, clear this and do draw this, and I want to maybe um, create a cat, okay? Uh, and then I want this to be drawn 10 times. I can run this and notice here that it will draw us a cat. It will give us um, my index that I asked for. And then it will also draw our cat out our 10 times as well as some undefined. So again, you can see that we can create basic functions with this. We can have basic printouts. Um, the syntax is going to be very relatively similar to um, C, if you guys are uh, used to that. Um, now we do include a lot of parentheses, semicolons, and uh, 
curly brackets as well as plus signs. And again, if you ever want to create something, you do have to define it with a uh, with a either var, let, or const. Okay, and we'll talk about these in turn uh, later on. But the next thing that we want to actually talk about is comments. All right, and that's two forward slashes. Um, and again, you can um, type basically whatever you want. All right, um, and again, I highly recommend you guys always comment as much as you can. So again, if I do something like draw this, and that was my previous code, then I would maybe want to say something like, this will draw 10 uh, cats, okay, before I run it. And then so whenever I've gone through and I have my code, I know what this is actually going to do. Make sure that it's clear, concise, um, and that it's at least uh, informative to other potential users. Never assume that whenever you write a piece of code that it's just going to be you that's running it. So the next thing is let's talk about some multi-line comments. You can do this forward slash or multiply and then here you can, whoops, and again, it doesn't work very well in an interactive console, but here, and then let's say here is a multi-line comment, um, and I'll make a couple more lines here, and then here and there. And so here you can have multi-line comments. Again, this is nice for when you're talking about making documentation or anything else. Um, so basically what we've kind of covered in here is just a little bit of JavaScript and um, also why you would want to learn it, how to actually interact with JavaScript inside of uh, the browser as well as we got a little bit of um, discussion into uh, the developer console. So in the next video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, JavaScript types. Specifically, we're going to be talking about numbers, strings, and booleans. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.